So brain cancer is one of the most lethal cancer in mankind, and it's one of the most difficult to treat. Why is that? A lot of time, the tumor involves the critical area of the brain, so it is hard for a surgeon to make a complete resection of the tumor. Second thing is that uh, the brain has a natural structure called blood-brain barrier to prevent drug delivery to the brain tumor. And third is that brain cancer are known to be genetically heterogeneous, making it difficult to target by radiation, chemotherapy, and even targeted therapy. Immunotherapy that has been used to treat other cancers are not effective in general for brain cancer because brain cancer are immunologically cold to me. One of the most difficult things in my practice is to see young patients affected by brain cancers. About half of our patients are in their 30s or 40s, so young family with small children. And when you think about the consequences on the patient and family, uh, it made me sad at times. What I usually do is to tell the patient, family, and myself that we try everything the best we can, but the outcomes are variable and out of our control. Although the prognosis in general for brain cancer is dismal, but looking at the bright side, there's a big room for improvement. Since I am a physician scientist, I trust and have passion in science, and I believe that the research that are active and ongoing around the world right now to target brain cancers, we will one day, perhaps tomorrow, we will have better treatment, more effective treatment for patients. At Siri Rad, we only diffuse centers in Thailand and Southeast Asia to have a comprehensive brain tumor program. We have neurosurgeons, radiation oncologists, neuroradiologists, neuropathologists, psychiatrists, and myself as a medical neuro-oncologist in our multidisciplinary team. So in Thailand, and I would say for the whole Asia, the only few uh, medical neuro-oncologists that have dedicated training in neuro-oncology. For expertise and technology to manage patients with brain tumors, our neurosurgeons here perform a lot of brain surgery while the patients are awake to avoid permanent disability and to maximize the extent of resection of brain cancers. We have state-of-the-art radiation machine and facility. We have advanced MRI scanning and PET scan to provide better imaging for patients with brain cancers. We have access to advanced molecular testing for brain cancers including comprehensive genome profiling and DNA methylation profiling. We occasionally have clinical trials for patients as well. Years ago, we had a phase three in the national trial for vaccine in brain cancer, and we have patients refer from all over Thailand and also other countries, such as Singapore and Malaysia to be enrolled in these vaccine trials. So at Sivirat here, we have, we have been known uh, to provide care to patients from all walks of life. In addition, we have also been known to be a last resort for taking care of patients with complex medical conditions. This is our brand. And I think our strength relies upon our people. So we have invested a lot in, to develop our faculty member and staff here. Although we are a large institute with a long history, tradition, and culture, we have adapted ourselves to become more contemporary and thrive to become a world changer in medicine to create the well-being of global citizens.